let's start here. The first These little ones by uh, Tisha Moore. Uh, you have to order them off her website, and they're reproductions of her favourite uh, journal pages. But for art journaling, they're just fascinating, and uh, she's just got such a style. Um, they're really actually very interesting to, to read as well. But they're a little set that you can get uh, directly off her website. Sabrina Ward Harrison book. Because this was the first book that I ever saw with all the text, I think. And I think it may have been the first example of a journal. Dration book. This is a series of them. But this is a wonderful uh, book. It's got all sorts of different illustrators in it. Lots of different styles, lots of inspiration and variety and um, I can tell it's one of my favourites because look at all the <laughs> pages I've got marked out. This is another one I got in Hong Kong. No, I think my mother got it for me in Hong Kong when she was there. There's an amazing bookshop called Page One, which if you're ever in Honkers... Oh, you'll die. Um, this is a great book. I think it's mainly Japanese illustrators. A lot of them are students. Um, but the, the work is fabulous. Uh, so this is called The New Age of Feminine Drawing. This is book number two. I'm trying to get book number one. This book's the best book of... Drawing the clothed figure that I've ever come across. Um, it's just, the illustrations are lovely. The way that the author approaches the materials just, just really works well. Um, drawing people, how to portray the clothed figure. Varga, any of this pin-up girl type of art, I just adore. It's so cute. They're so wanton but innocent at the same time. Um, they're cool, man. They're a little bit mischievous. But look at the beautiful face. It's just so good. Oh, and the hair. Oh, they're gorgeous things. Uh, it's a fictional character that she writes under. But the illustrations are... Exceptionally gorgeous. I mean, look at this. For the pear-shaped person. <laughs> oh, oops. Look at this. And it's very funny. The writing is quite naughty and um, funny. But as far as illustrations go and the artwork, I mean, look at it. It's a gorgeous book. So this one's called Like I Give a Frock. And this was the new one that's just come out by the same author. What on earth are you wearing? Um, but it's the illustrations that are just delightful. Gorgeous. Michael Parks. And these are lithographs. But they are extraordinary. Oh, I might keep this out to read again, actually. Look at these faces. They're so Jerry Hall, 1970s. Oh, the muck. Oh. So good. They're quite rudy, some of them. <laughs> but look at these faces. And the way he does the bodies and that. Look at that curve. Oh, oh just gorgeous. Awesome book. The upset, the front cover is Mark Ryden and it goes through all the lowbrow, as they're sometimes called, artists and really gives a great little overview of um, a lot of these artists. Um, these sorts, of, there's a lot of these kind of books around, like high fructose, um, juxtapose, they all do. Um, versions of, and they all tend to have the same artists uh, in them. But they, uh, I think this, this has been my favourite 
of those is my favourite Mark Crichton book because it gives the finished artwork plus a lot of the sketches and the sketch, you know, the, um, how the finished works came together and in some cases the sketches are even more beautiful than the finished piece. Um, and then it also gives a whole bunch of his uh, inspirations and um, you get a more, a, a bigger feeling of the whole uh, exhibition. Um, but Mark Ryden's work is, of course, the, the bee's knees. Tara McPherson, who just is such a rocker. <laughs> She's so cool. Um, and again, this book gives the initial sketches, the refined sketch, and then the finished um, artwork or where it was used as posters. She does a lot of posters for bands um, because she's, she's a rock chick. Uh, very cool, man. So I think I've got two or three of her books. This one's called Lonely Heart and Lost Constellations is the other one that I've got. I think this may be even better. The artwork in this one, I think, is... It's got more of her artwork, whereas this one's more the posters. Um, oh, I think that's enough for now. I mean, I've got so many cool books. They're my top pick at the moment. The book I've got for Christmas, which I'm just reading now, 